Hi, my name's Jerry. I'm a twin troller, boat owner, and a lifelong fisherman. Just about an hour ago, I had something delivered to my house. And it's something called a runkle. R-U-N-C-L-E. Stick with me. Let me show you what it is. Let me just first tell you something. As a YouTube creator, sometimes people contact me, ask me if I would be willing to look at their item and evaluate it and give them some feedback. Um, most of the time they're not fishing related. Uh, that's why you don't see them. And a lot of them are junk. And I won't give any kind of good feedback to someone who's trying to sell some thing that I wouldn't buy. Some of them I've had to contact the people back and say, I'll give it an evaluation, but I guarantee you won't like it. And they've said to me, uh, on second thought, don't bother. This one is by a company called Runkle. I already showed you that. And they sell fishing items. Well, that piqued my interest, so I kind of went a little bit farther and asked them more questions and they said, well, we have some things that we sell and we'd like you to try looking at some of our products or one of our product anyway, and give us some feedback. And so that's what I decided to do. So just an hour ago, this showed up in the mail. What is it? Well, let me open it up and I'll show you. Well, I really hope you can see me. It's about an hour and a half before sunset. The sun is way low in the horizon there, and it's shining right in my eyes, but hopefully the camera can pick all this up. So what is this? Left. And let me explain that. And I'm seeing this for the first time because I just got it. It's a left-handed bait casting fishing room. It's a 7.3 to 1... Uh, gear ratio. It's a left hand reel. Let me explain to you why left hand. I am right handed. I am so right handed. I really can't even talk on the telephone with my left hand. I'm that right handed. However, the first time I ever bought a bait caster, I was in my teens. And since I grew up fishing with spinning reels, which were primarily reeled on the left, and you hold the rod with your strong hand. The first one I ordered uh, came with the reel on the right. I never even thought about it till it showed up. I tried using it. I said, this doesn't make any sense. I'm changing hands constantly. Cast with my strong hand, change hands, reel with my uh, strong hand. It didn't make any sense. So I sent it back. I bought it from Bass Pro Shops. I sent it back, got a left hand one, and I still have that reel today. A lot of pros have gone to fishing with left-handed reels so they're not swapping hands all the time like you do. If you're right-handed and the handle's on the right, you usually are casting with your strong hand, reeling with your weak hand. And it took me a little bit to learn to do this, but I really have a hard time fishing with a reel that's got a handle on the right. I have a bunch of those reels, but I just don't fish with them that often. I like these better. That's why I ordered the left. Let me just show you what's in the box. Um, thing to put, nice velour type bag to put this in. Uh, and there's some papers in here. There is something that uh, says Runkle, born to win. <laughs> and on the back, let me just show it to you. And then I'll... Your valued customer, thanks for choosing. Runkle is a collection of interconnected fishing gear designed to be the ultimate choice for diehard anglers. We're dedicated to your complete satisfaction, but if you're not completely satisfied with these items that you've purchased, please do not hesitate to email us. It gives you an email address, a website address. Our friendly, hassle-free service will work. Put a smile on your face. We'd love to hear from you. It's another card. Uh, again, Runkle. The ultimate choice for diehard anglers. And on the back says, activate your warranty and get a free gift. It gives you a place, a uh, website to do that. It's a sticker, born to win. And apparently this 
creature is their logo and Runkle on the bottom. That's a nice sticker. Let me show you this one. It's a blow up of the internals on the reel and all the parts. This model is called a Svalet, S V A L L E T, the left hand reel, because they sell a couple of reels. Bait caster as well as spinning, and they, they have some other things. And then there's some instructions here about how to use it, how to put the line on it, um, drag adjustment, how to fill your spool, how to cast, how to adjust the spool tension knob, warranty information, pictures of it with all uh, uh, the parts on it. Let me just show you that. Here's the reel. Here's the uh, spool end adjustment, like most bait casters have. So this tightens uh, the spool. When you tighten this, it pushes against the rod that's in the middle of the spool. And then the, naturally here's where the line goes in. And as you go back and forth, it goes, your line spool is here. And this adjusts your star uh, adjustment, they call this, uh, to adjust your tension on your on your line. Uh, naturally is the handle. And then here is a thing. If you click it like this, this pops out like this. Now, when you do that, this swings open like that. You can take your spool all the way out for a number of reasons you would do that. Put it back in. You turn this outer part like that counterclockwise, and it locks it back in. Now, there's a little spool in the middle, and you can adjust that. And let me see if I can open that back up again. See the little silver dots here? These are magnets. When you adjust that spool with that knob that gets those magnets closer to the spool end or farther away and it creates a magnetic uh, drag on the line the more you tighten it and get it closer so as you're uh, reeling it or casting it I should say if you get it adjusted right with your spool end as well as the magnets then you generally don't have problems with your reel back lashing but uh, even the pros do that sometimes and I do too all right, so it says, let me show you yeah, if you can see this whole thing. There's a brand new rod I'm going to put it on. It's a Lose um, medium heavy. It's a 610, I think it is. Six foot 10 inch uh, uh, medium heavy action with a fast taper. It's brand new still. Ah, there. So I'm going to mount this on here just to make this easier for me to spool it. And if you've never seen someone do this before, I suppose, now you can learn. You put it on and you tighten this down. So there's a, a foot in the back that locks in and a foot at the top that you're tightening down. Uh, this one also has a little uh, catch in the back for like drop shots, uh, you can put it around there and or just whatever you're using, you put the hook around this and you can store it kind of. Let me just go through the bottom guide. Now this is 30 pound test braid. You go through the end. There are slots in the spool. If you can get it into a slot, and I got it in the slot, spin it around, and now I have it locked onto the spool. And they tell you to use an arbor knot. And you pull it as a knot so that when you pull this down, this one jams up against there. In fact, I've seen this called a Canadian jam knot. I know how the Canadians get their idea in there. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to the spool and I'm going to turn it. I'm going to put this in the box so that as I spool this, it will come undone. Now they say to reel on all the way up to a sixteenth of an inch from the top of the spool.
All right, there's about where I want. Now, let me just give you a tip. When you're putting wine on a bait caster, you spool on like this. So the line is coming off this way. A uh, spinning reel, you spool, spool this way. And since the spool, and they won't ever tell you this, but when, since the spool size is not the same size of this, on a spinning wheel, you start doing that. Eventually, you start to get a little twist into it. Well, when you start to go like this and then just let it drop, and you'll see this go and it spins together. You know, you got a lot of twist. Just flip it over and then keep reeling for a while. And then every once in a while, drop it down and see if you get the twist. If you, if like here, I don't know if you can see that. If you see the line isn't getting all twisted up like that, it's just laying there then you know it's going on the right way. If you're cutting braid, these scissors work just incredible. I don't know why these cut, regular scissors don't cut braid very well. These will cut it really easy without leaving a fray on the end. And in this case, they've got a little catch. I put them back in their little thing. If you look around, I bought these for like $3.50. You can't ask for anything better. And I'm going to cut off the tag ends. This particular knot, you can cut it real close. Like I said, one of these days, I'm going to do a video and show you a bunch of knots. I used to be a boy scout. <laughs> so pretty good at knots. 30 pound main line, 12 pound for the leader. It's just what I often use. Pardon me if it looks like I'm scrambling a little, because I am trying to get this rigged so that I can at least go out and cast it, if nothing more. Now I almost always, if I'm gonna put something kind of slow on the end uh, with a bullet weight, put in a bobber stop. Uh, these are the straight ones. I like the round ones better, but that's what I happen to grab. And I'm um, putting on a 3 16 ounce weight. I found a, I grabbed a hook. I'm not even sure if it's the right size, but... You're not wasting your time watching me tie hooks. And what are we putting on? Putting on a four inch Senko. Why a four inch? First of all, it's what I grabbed. Second of all, just get a bite before it gets dark. And the uh, four inch would grab a bite from a uh, smaller fish as well as a larger one so I leave that up just a hair so I can pull it down it tends to the lighter weight 3 16 will kind of lots of weeds out here so what I showed you before the little thing on the end there and it goes like that let's grab a hold of the spool or the line I should say in deepers that's really so all right, that's not too bad, but, but this really does have good drag on it. And this is a 10 plus one ball bearing. You can see it written right here. Cool. Let's go out on the water. As you can see, the sun is going down just a hair past the tree line. Let me show you how well at least to get this set up. When I click it, let it go. It's falling. It's falling a little fast for the first time, so I'm gonna reel it up a little. I have a little bit too much lead around there. All right, let's go a little bit more. All right, see how that's falling slow? At least that's a start. Now, max is when you turn this all the way like this, counterclockwise, 
according to the, the, what it says. That's max. So what I don't want to do is backlash on my very first cast, and we can always back that off. All right, didn't get much distance, so let me loosen it up a little. Oh, see the turtle? He came up to see what I'm doing. It's Tommy Turtle. All right, I backed that off to, uh, I don't know, probably seven. Whoa, this thing really casts. Okay, gonna let it fall on its own. Kind of wobbles on its way down like a weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. I don't know if that's something they still say. You can tell I'm old. Matter of fact, today is my birthday. All right, the grass is thicker here. I still drag my thumb on there, at least until I get a feel for what this is doing. This really casts quite well. I don't know if you can see the line. See the line coming towards me is making a V in the water. Now the V has stopped. I know it's on the bottom. We used to have a lot of big fish in this pond, lake, but the last couple of years, I know people have been taking them out of here, which I don't appreciate. It was a lot of work in them here. So we generally don't have too many big fish anymore. But one of these days I may I may start to uh, restock this. I've already started to put some bluegill and uh, golden shiners in here. <laughs> My neighbor's kids are yelling out there. Hey, Mr. Jerry. gorgeous night. It's 70 degrees, four mile an hour winds. With all the trees and the buildings around that four mile wind is down to zero here. Really impressed with this reel. I'd really like to catch something too. Not a cloud in the sky. There we go. Here we go. First fish on a new reel. Oh, it's a whopper. <laughs> it isn't very big, but it's a first fish on the new reel. All right, here we go. See you, buddy. All right, at least we caught something. I know all you guys up north are kind of huddled around the old fireplace or the... All right, let's see if there's more there. Now, I was working that really slow. There it goes, hit bottom. This is probably seven foot deep there. And maybe even less. 
I'm not sure how well you can see. GoPros are not great for low light conditions. But it's still not too bad. Now I'm not going to wait. <laughs> That's what I thought. Funny because with braided line, I felt that tap before it even got to the, uh, yeah, let's see, what do we got? What do you got? Before it even got to the bottom, I could feel the tap. <laughs> All right, that's not a bad fish. All right. Swallowed it, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, let's get the, the lure out of the way. Okay, let's do it another way. I pull it up with my teeth on the line, pull it, close them. go buddy thank you for coming to see me there he goes he's gone well I don't know been out here 10 minutes maybe and uh, got two fish nothing huge but I also kind of located it seems where they're hanging out. That goes all the way back to a dead end. That's a dead end there. It's almost like a T at the top, and then this goes through, and it opens up over there. You can't see it, and it goes a big to the left in a big giant circle. So for whatever reason, they're hanging here. Now, when I threw that one out, I was starting to say, it wasn't even halfway to the bottom, and the line was completely slack. And with braid, I could feel that tap. So I thought that there was something on there. Sure enough, there was. So I didn't even wait to really feel it that much. I just decided I'm not going to wait any longer. I think that there's something there, and I just set the hook. Because I actually think he was kind of swimming towards me. It's a good combination of this. It's a lose speed stick. I like the seven to three to one. Boy, that really casts nice. Last cast. Well, unless we catch something. All right, just hit the bottom. I'm letting it sit for a second. Come on, fishy. One last fish. No frying pan. We're gonna let you go. All right, considering that this just came in a box, I don't know, two and a half hours ago, maybe. And I've already got it rigged. I got it out here. We've caught two fish. We got a chance to try it out and really like it. Again, this is a Runkel, R-U-N-C-L. And this one model is a Svalet, S-V-A-L-L-E-T. It's a 7.3 to one. This one is a left-hand reel. They sell in right hand also. Uh, 30 pound braid, 12 pound uh, leader. Uh, 316 sound weight with a, uh, it looks like about a three aught uh, offset hook with a uh, small Sanko uh, type uh, lure on the end, dark colored. You will definitely be seeing this in my boat in videos in the future. I really like this, as so you'll see it a bunch, especially with this rod set up. I really like this together, so I'll probably keep this for uh, throwing worms and stuff like that in the boat. 
let me tell you something that I'm going to try to get you. They told me when they contacted me that they would give me some kind of a discount code that I could give to you. So if you were interested in buying any of their products, you could get a little discount. But I've written to them, said, uh, you told me that you were going to send me a uh, code. Uh, if I get it, I will post it uh, somewhere in this video or maybe even below the video in the see more. And if you are interested in anything in the see more section, there's almost anything that I use in my videos. I have links to them there. Thanks for following me. I hope you enjoyed just my little explanation of a reel that I uh, am trying to evaluate. Uh, my conclusion, I like it. Uh, long term, we'll have to see how well it holds up, but looks like it's well built and we're going to go for there. Hope to see you again in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye now.